Now we found out all the elements, that is we found how Mendeleev, Mendeleev classified the elements. Now all these elements come under two categories, there is metals and non-metals. They are called as metals and non-metals. So mainly they classified as metals and non-metals. Now metals means this is further divided like you can take metals and further division into non-metals and then metalloids. So now metals, metals means all the elements which have similar property come under one group called as metals. So they call the elements which are similar property. So they all, they all come under one group called as metals. When you take the periodic table, you find that they are placed on the left side of the periodic table. They are placed on the left side of the periodic table. So most of the elements found are found to be only metals. These metals are further classified as alkali metals. Example, sodium, Na is sodium, K is potassium. Then alkaline earth metals, that is calcium, magnesium. Then transition metals, cobalt, C was for cobalt, Ni is for nickel and other metals. So other metals are aluminium, Al is aluminium, Sn is for tin. So I said that all these elements can be classified into metals, non-metals and metalloids. So metals are further classified into alkali metals, example is sodium, potassium, Na is sodium, K is potassium. Then alkaline earth metals, example Ca is calcium, Mg is magnesium. Then transition metals, cobalt, nickel, CO is cobalt, Ni is nickel. Then other metals, aluminium and tin, Sn is for tin. Why they are called alkali metals? Means they form salts. They are called as alkali metals. Now alkaline earth metals mostly they are found in the earth's crust. They are found directly in the earth's crust mostly. Then what is transition metals? The transition when you say changing from one character to another character. Transition state and solum change in the change. So these will have certain similar properties. So transition metals come under the examples are cobalt and nickel. That is, they are lying between metals and non-metals. Then next is other metals, generally other metals which are different characters, they are called as, uh, their examples are aluminium and tin. So next non-metals, now these non-metals other than metals, the elements which have properties different from metals are called as non-metals. So they are placed on the right hand side of the period table. They are placed on the right hand side of the period table. Examples are what? Carbon, examples are carbon, then chlorine, all these are examples of non-metals. Now there are certain metals which resemble both metals and non-metals. So they are called as metalloids. So certain elements resemble both, they have the properties both of metals and non-metals. They are called as metalloids and examples they are silicon and germanium. Silicon, they are very good semiconductors. So metalloids are elements which have properties similar to those of metals as well as non-metals and the examples are what they are given silicon and germanium. These are very good semiconductors. So these are divisions of elements that is mainly metals, non-metals and metalloids. Next we will go to difference between metals and non-metals. First one is what appearance. So what is difference between metals and non-metals in their appearance. So metals in a park more than a shining arco. So metals have a shining appearance, they can be polished. So that is called as metallic luster. Appearance Pakumbodh, metals have shining appearance, that is called metallic luster. Whereas non-metals are very dull. They don't they do not have a shining appearance. Example, exception on the only graphite. Graphite I'm telling you, Pakad and uh grayish black arco, shining arco. So exception on the non-metals appearance pakum, graphite it will be. Dull. So it is dull and no luster. Luster means what? And shining. The appearance is called luster. Next is we are going for physical state. So physical state, all the metals are solids. Example, only mercury. Exception, sorry, it is exception. All metals are solids. Exception, mercury. You know, mercury is a liquid. Here all are mostly soft solids and also gases. So example is diamond. Diamond is the hardest substance known. So diamond is hard, okay, and then graphite is little soft. So this is wonderful. Based on physical state, you know that 
In general, all the metals there are not solids. The exception is what I told you already, mercury is a liquid. Whereas here in non-metals, all are very soft solids and also gases. Exceptions are what? Diamond and also diamond is a hard solid and bromine is a liquid. Next is density. So here metals have high density. Exceptions are sodium and potassium. Whereas non-metals have low density. So metals have high density. Exception, sodium and potassium. Whereas non-metals have low density. Next is melting and boiling points. Melting and boiling points. So here again metals have high melting and boiling points. All the metals have high melting and boiling point. Again exception is sodium and potassium.